Please go somewhere convenient. setting up my equipment because I have stuff to do. <clears throat> Hello bearded bee people. Welcome back to B&KB's. <laughs> so a bunch of hives had gotten pushed off. Um, I had to go down state and visit my family and I had to get bee equipment. I had to get honey boxes and brood boxes, bottoms, tops, all that stuff. So uh, it's been about a week since, the, since I should have been through to that little colony over there and the yard I'm getting ready to go to and while I'm getting ready to go some colony sends out a swarm I did not see this one send it out but there's no other colony that I have here so I'm assuming it came out of that little nuker and they're pretty confused um let's see all right they're trying to get in there and that's my stack of brood boxes that's not for you guys um <laughs> So I have to turn the truck around and go to another stack of brood boxes to finish gathering stuff for what I have to do uh, in Hancock. So I'm going to turn the truck around, finish loading the trailer, and then get out to a uh, yard because I probably have hives out there that are doing this very same thing. So, wonderful. I'll see you guys in a second. So as I said, I haven't been able to get out to this yard in more than a week, more than uh, a week past when I should have been out here. And that is due to, as I had said, I needed to get down state to get bee equipment. I needed to visit family, hang out with my niece for her birthday. And then I got back and we had truck issues and weather issues and it has just been impossible for me to get out here until today. Today's Wednesday, I should have been out here last Wednesday. So, <laughs> there's definitely a swarm. Second one I've seen today, including that one at the house. The big old swarm, chilling out right there. A little too tall, a little too high for me to, uh, for me to access, and uh, that's okay. I mean, I might, I might try to find a long stick and smash that limb uh, later before I leave. But either way, I'll probably just end up leaving a an empty out here and hoping that they call that suitable. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of work to do on these bees that are in these boxes. So I'm going to get started on that. I set out, oops, I set out four there and four in the back on the back right pallet uh new boxes for splits so rather than making nukes out here today um hopefully i'm going to fill out those eight boxes put honey boxes on everything that needs it and call it good because i have to move nukes tomorrow and the next day set up a couple new bee yards we are behind so let's get to work rainy and windy and chilly and so I'm going to pull on my veil before I get into these bees plus there's mosquitoes like crazy oh I love bees but boy do I hate mosquitoes as if I'm saying something that's weird or that you guys don't agree with 
All right, good looking box of bees. I bet they're swarmy. I'm gonna try to work these pretty quickly today. Like I said, I've got a lot of other stuff to do. If I could finish this and then get the truck ready for tomorrow, that would be ideal. A little bit of food, a lot of drones. There are a million drones on that frame, so either they're definitely ready to swarm or uh, we have a drone laying situation somewhere in here. I would bet that they're ready to swarm because there's tons of workers as well. Yep, and here's a cap cell. Man, lots of drones. An emerged cell, oh, well, no, torn down cell. Lots of drones, little cap cell on the bottom left there. And we'll remember that. Yep, they have emerged cells here. Definitely. So that might be the cause of the bees in the tree, but it's also possible that they are somewhere that I did not see. So I'm on the lookout for a virgin queen. There are cells on those first two. Better patch of brood right there. Um, still a lot of drones. I don't see any cells on this one. A little bit of food. Scattered brood. A lot of young bees, a lot of drones. Scanning my eyes for the queen. I don't see her. Big old cell on the bottom of this one. And one that looks like it's getting ready to emerge, one that has emerged. I'm gonna take this frame and put it in one of these boxes. And now I'm just essentially going to going to leave them with a cell and give them a super. Nice big old virgin queen. I'm gonna bring that to the split box. Look 
Okay, I'm gonna bring this to another split box. More cells. Well, another frame of the cell. I'm trying to make splits today, so screw it. I'm just gonna take it. Okay, so I know I have two cells on those far frames. Um, I took them down a little bit thinner than I intended to, but nice cells in the first colony we got into. Now we've got three splits with cells, just need to be fitted out with bees and brood and uh, resources, food. Okay, so we've got a... Uh, the one on the right, right there, she's working on her way out of that. So you can see the little perforation there. I'm going to see if I can pull the other one off. Nope, that one wasn't ready. So I'm going to leave that... One where she's working her way out. That is going to be a queen in a matter of minutes or hours. Pull this little dinky one off. Just the larvae. Or larva. Oh, I hate it when I say larvae and I mean larva. Larva. Okay. As I said, this uh, this is not an ideal situation. Obviously, I would have liked to have split these before they got to this point. Okay, now a queen excluder and a honey box. Run 10 in here because I've got two, two cut comb frames. So I want those to be tied up against the other adjacent frames so that the cut comb fits in a nice box for retail. Okay, so as I have been doing uh, the last few videos, I'm going to just kind of pick up here and there as I go throughout this yard, catch you up on anything interesting that may or may not be happening. And uh, yeah, so see you in a couple minutes. <clears throat> okay, so I am seeing lots of good looking colonies. Uh, I had been, not lots, I've been in three since I was doing video last, and they have all looked really good. Lots of frames of brood, active queens, pulling frames from each one. And I figured I'd resume here, because it's well stacked, I've not seen a cell, we might find a queen. Either way, we'll populate some more of those split boxes over there. This yard was made up of the lighter colonies uh, from our house. So these were the ones that were a little bit further behind. They, they needed more food at the beginning of the year, you know, last month than the other yards. And I think that is, uh, that's good because that means 
they had a little bit more work to do to get swarmy than the rest of the bees in our operation. So hopefully the rest of the yard looks like this because this is super nice. I'm not seeing any cells, just jam-packed full of brood and bees. I'm not sure how there's not any cells because there's tons of bees in here. But I am scanning my eyes for the queen. Pretty tough to find in a frame like that, but I would expect her to be moving around, which you'd see, and a lot of these bees are just kind of just sitting there, so I don't think she's on there. The queen rarely just sits around. It's like those foragers are just chilling in there waiting for the wet weather to pass. Getting stung on my hand. No queen, a couple queen cups on the bottom. Don't know if there's larvae in them, but I'm gonna move this. Good looking brood frame with a little food on the outside. Good for a split. Good looking brood frame. Lots of young light colored bees. Mm -hmm. All right, I think this is another one that's good to be taken. through these last frames looking for cells if I don't see them I'll check her in these blank ones and add a honey box no cell nice brood frame nice brood frame No cell. <laughs> Bee bread. Bee bread. All right, cool. All right, now I have to really make some progress, so I'll catch back on, up in a bit. Huh. All right, I'm done. These bees looked a lot better than I thought they would. I thought we would see a, I would see a lot more swarmed colonies. I saw two that definitely had some queen cells emerge uh, within the last few days. So, and one of them is that one right there that looks like they're getting ready to do something. Yeah, they're going somewhere. Right as I turn the camera on. Pouring off of that bottom part right there. Looks like they're going up and away. Yeah, they're going up. All right, I'm gonna try not to worry about that. Uh, like I said, I expected to see a lot more swarmy colonies out here. I was able to make nine splits and add 17 honey boxes. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, this swarm is getting up and going somewhere. Boy, I hope it's not a house. I do have an empty box chilling right here that I wasn't able to fill out. Boy, it would be nice if they just decided to go in there. Or if they moved into the box on the back of my truck. I'd be okay with that too. Ah, okay, so, uh, like I said, I made nine splits. I added 17 honey boxes. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it worked and the way it looked. I uh, never like to see swarms leaving. It's definitely not something that I'm happy about. And it's something that I, could, I spend a lot of time every spring and early portion of the summer concerned about and, you know, fretting over and losing sleep over. So I just need to realize that at this amount of colonies, you're going to lose some, especially with the crazy bee year we've had with having to go downstate to get equipment and come back up and having this weird weather that's sort of separating these bees from the portion of the year that they're really like feeling themselves in. So yeah, it's been weird. I, uh, I have things to be thankful for. So, and that includes you guys for watching this video. So thank you very much. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd be more appreciative of that even. Click like if you haven't already. If you're not subscribed, I don't even know what you're doing with your life, but click that button as well. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and have some fun with your bees. See ya.